Yeah, so uh, <laughs> like awesome. one one of the times. Yeah. So it was me, Scam, and Bald Man from Seattle. Scams from Portland. Yeah. Um, the only reason I'm saying the names is because it's like these dudes are always putting stuff up, and and so so am I. So I've seen a lot of that. So Bald we're all, Yeah, he's been doing it for years, and yeah. he's like a uh, super interesting guy. Oh, super, super interesting, interesting guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, really cool. Yeah. yeah, cool person. Yeah, like, so it's us three, and we're he, all three of us are really aware, you know, super hyper aware. It's not like any of us are really like, uh, like um, like really uh, careless about anything. Right. So we're walking around the international district, and there's these cops parked everywhere, and whatever's going on down there. I don't even know if that, like, I guess that place might have more crime at night or something. But they spotted us. And I'm sure they were like, yeah, what are these three guys doing? So they were just keeping an eye on us. Yeah. And we noticed, you know, they were like, it'd almost be like one of those old, like, movies from the 80s where the cops are tailing, the, the FBI's tailing somebody. And like, <laughs> we can tell that <laughs> you're trying to keep an eye on us. Yeah. So we get far enough out of there and we're putting all our stuff up. Eddie Murphy. Which really isn't that big of a deal anyway. But um, putting all our stuff up and I remember looking down this road and you could see like, three blocks away these lights coming towards us and I'm just for some it's like instinct like me and bald man both at the same time were like whose lights are those you know I swear I remember it just like that like whose lights are those this undercover cop drives right up on us just like a right beeline to right up to yeah. us what are you guys doing you know and so we we had to like uh, get our wallets out and stuff you know what do you do to that sign and um, how to like Super casual. The old man's just like, we're putting up band flyers. Yeah. And he's like, oh, band flyers, huh? You guys in the band? And he's like, no, nope, it's just a paid job. And the guy ran our licenses, and then he's like, didn't look at anything we were putting up. I was already put gonna, stuff up. I was just going to say, it was the ever like, where's the band flyers? <laughs> <laughs> what was crazy about it, though, is I kind of like figured it out, like, uh, once it was all done, was that. You know, he ran our stuff, and he was like, okay, have fun, and he left. And not only was it, like, band flyers, which always get put up, yeah, but saying that we didn't know the band and that it was a paid job. Oh, yeah, it made it into a thing. Yeah, like, wow. because there's been other times, like, one time this friend of mine, she was like, let's go have this free art show on Capitol Hill. Let's, there's this big hole in the ground where this new development's going to come in. Let's go put artwork right up on the fence, like right in the middle of the day. Yeah. And I was thinking, not a good idea, yeah. you know. <laughs> but we went anyway, me and a couple of friends of mine, we went and we we're putting up these things that were just going to be this free archer. We we're just going to put it up and leave. Right. Cop drove up. What the, what's going on here? You know, and uh, oh, we're, we're having an art show. And the you hell could are you see doing, his boy? Tone. His tone was like, oh, an art show. Okay, okay, yeah, tell me more. And as soon as my friend was like, yeah, it's a free art show. He was like, it needs to come down. Like, yeah, for some show. reason, if you're not getting paid to do it, yeah. there's like some weird thing. And I've brought that story up. Uh, the one with me and Bald Man and Scam um, I met up with these guys that are trying to change the graffiti laws and stuff. Yeah. And one time they were like, yeah, well, what happens if we get caught? And everybody's like, I bust out this thing that has my rights on it. And I'm like, yeah, I get in the no. cop's face. And I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> if you be a little bit more gentle about it and like, you could probably just walk away at the end of the night instead of like. Instead you know, like, of. Da, 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 walk to the bench, man. <laughs> right, right. I know my rights! The cop's like, I don't even think he's done anything wrong, but uh, <laughs> now you're pissing me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know your rights? Okay, I'm going to let you sit on your rights for two hours in the back of my car. <laughs> like, you got that without even doing anything wrong. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. The next thing you know, you're chained to a leper. I got that. I got three days. I got three days for doing nothing. Like and then and and charged with nothing. Like, That's crazy. What just if, three uh, days. Just what if three days they like took a, away? What if you had like a really strict? But like, what if you were working somewhere and you had a really strict boss, and then you had like a couple things come up? Yeah. And then you were like the boss, like one more excuse and you're out of here. Yeah. And then you come in and you're like, dude, I got thrown in jail. Yeah, yeah, I've heard enough. Yeah. Man. That's <laughs> it. Hit the road. And I had a, I had a thing due for uh, city arts. That time. I had to call him from jail and be like, uh, I'm in jail. <laughs> They should have loved that. Do they like it? No, they don't. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I just straight up. Let's get straight up for a second. No, well, they don't. Yeah, there's like... They're, it's arts. a different thing. That's a different thing. 
Yeah, you got the CD Arts in Tacoma. Is this that? They don't have it. City Arts is in Seattle, but they don't have the Tacoma City Arts anymore. Uh, the one in Seattle, I'd say they don't know what they're doing either. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same people, yeah. That's weird. Like, <laughs> it might just be my own ignorance or whatever, but every time they're like, here's the next 50 artists, never heard of them and never will hear of them. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. No, they do all kinds they, of stuff, yeah. If I open that thing, if I open that thing and I see somebody, I know I get stoked. But it's yeah, really ever. That's how I get too, though. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Boots magic, boots magic, boots magic.